Guys, guys, we're free. We live in a world with a Splatoon 3 release date, September 9th. It's technically still summer, right? <laughs> Let's talk about the trailer. The opening screen is so clean. The slosher user doesn't seem to have the same aggressive weapon bouncing animation that the sloshing machine had. We see a brush for the first time, and then we get to see the new spawning mechanic in action. As you're landing, it looks like you can see everyone else's landing spots as well. And uh, they gave the killer whale back to the 52. We're really living in Splatoon 1 in 2022. The new Trizooka looks so fun. Just like the old Inkzooka, it can go through multiple opponents and isn't stopped much by obstacles. We see the Zooka easily pass over a block. Unlike the original Inkzooka though, it doesn't seem to have too much height to it. It seems loyal to the height that you fire it at, whether that's low to the ground or high in the air if you're jumping. Then we get to something new. That Splat Charger has a brand new, absolutely insane special. Remember how the Squeegee is able to steal ink? We finally have a special that not only steals ink, but then fires it back at the enemy team in a big blast. It can also be used to defend teammates. I am glad this special is short, because it could easily be used to defend a Rainmaker carrier. Imagine using this special to stop an enemy team from taking his own in overtime. Evil. It's gonna happen. And hey, we finally got a name and footage for the Splat Bow. It's now the Tri Stringer. The shots fire extremely fast, and it looks like they leave up behind a bushel of bombs that blows up after the shot reaches the ground. That could be so fun to combo with other chip damaging weapons like blasters. And hey, the ninja special finally got screen time. There's a lack of UI to let us know exactly how the landing locations are selected for the player, but I'll assume you aim with your reticle. I think a bit of snapping would be appreciated here, because misaiming could send you halfway across the map to somewhere you don't want to go. The return super jump seems quicker than the inkjet, meaning you'll get back into the game faster. And we also get uninterrupted gameplay of the crab tank! I'm so happy! It still has two firing modes, which we saw before, but also provides a very clear visual of when this special is ending. I wonder if everyone sees this? When the crab tank ends, we just get right back on the ground and start shooting again without any delay. This differs from the baller, which ended with an explosion and didn't let you fire immediately. This means that players won't feel the need to retreat near the end of using the crab tank, leading to more aggressive gameplay. I wonder if they'll stray away from putting the tank on short-ranged, fast-killing weapons like the sploosh. And you know, that new killer whale, uh, the AI for each little stingray has a mind of its own. Two of the speakers start flying earlier than the others do, and then we see that the rays also move over time. I believe this is also the first time we've seen the new slosher. I love the gradient in its design. Weapon kits could change between now and release, but if we really get that new Ink Strike special on the Slosher, I will lose my mind. In Splatoon 3's theme of threes, <laughs> you throw three miniature Ink Strikes across the map. Please let me throw that at my feet like a terrifying cyclone burst bomb thing. I would love that. A ton of the specials in this game are just way more aggressive. And honestly, I love that for Splatoon 3. One of the biggest issues we've seen in 2 is that times you're rewarded for staying back and spamming specials. Splatoon 3's style of play is encouraging you to use your specials to cause problems on purpose. And in general, just make people more aggressive. The new end screen is so lively and colorful! The community is losing their mind about Little Judd's new look. <laughs> Me too. We get to see everybody's username tag things similar to the ones in Animal Crossing at the end too. I'm hoping, praying, asking so kindly for Nintendo to give us the ability to add each other through these. My only gripe is that if they're this public facing, people could just add each other left and right after every match, but it would still be a wild improvement over constant friend code adding, so I'll take it. Woohoo! Man, there, there's so much more that I didn't even mention in this video. Like, the shirt here on the left. Look, it's just my jacket, but they like shoved a, they shoved like a jean jacket over it. Please let me just uh, zip that back up and then I'll be whole in Splatoon 3. <laughs> do you think we'll get a test fire in August? If we do, I'll be streaming it. So don't forget to subscribe to keep up with more Splatoon content from me. Man, 
I'm excited. September couldn't be here soon enough. I hope you're excited to see more Splatoon 3. Let's go!